Hello fellow booktubers, my name is Lauren, you're watching Dreams Books Courage, and today I'm going to be doing a Top 5 Wednesday video. I'm so grateful that Top 5 Wednesday is a thing because I just love doing them so much, and especially this one because today we are talking about my Top 5 books that I have read so far in the year of 2015. I've finished 36 books so far this year, and so it was kind of hard for me to choose the ones that really meant the most to me and really affected me the most, but I think that overall these books are really good and most of them you will definitely see on my top books of 2015 overall. So this first book I was a little bit iffy on, but it is in the fifth place and that is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I know a lot of people had problems with it and I had a few problems myself, but it was a very gripping story and I liked the main character. I really liked what was happening within this and so I think that it definitely deserves the place on this top five list. I just really love headstrong characters and this also has monarchies and pretty dresses and just a lot of things that I really enjoy reading about and so that's why this is definitely on my top five list. The next book is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han and this is the only contemporary young adult book that is on my list but it was just such a good story. It's all about Laura Jean and her just trying to figure out what she's doing with her life while also kind of having to come out of her comfort shell and do a lot of things that she wouldn't really expect to do. But it was just such an adorable read and I really love Jenny Han's writing style so I definitely love just delving into this story and just seeing all the adorable moments that are within it. I just loved it so much and so it definitely deserves the fourth place spot. In the third place spot is Angel Fall by Susan E. This is all about a girl named Pinrin and she has to join together with an angel to save her little sister. This novel takes place in in a post-apocalyptic California and evil angels are trying to take over Earth and so a lot of things are happening but I love this book because I love Pinrin as a main character. She's very headstrong and stubborn and also Rafi is just an amazing character as well. And this book is just so fast-paced and action-packed that I just went through both Angel Fall and also World After very very quickly because I just love this story so much and I just really love where it's going overall. I didn't really love the second book as much, but both of them were really amazing and I definitely suggest this series. And in second place, I'm just going to say this entire series because I love it so much, and that is the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. I marathoned this series this year and it was just such an amazing read. I love Sydney and Adrian, and as the books went on, the story just got better and better and it was very action-packed as well. This is about a girl who kind of has to protect the human world from knowing about the vampire world and Adrian is a vampire himself. And it's all about Sydney kind of figuring out who she is and what she stands for. I just really like this series. It's amazing. I love Rochelle Means writing and I just love these books so much so I definitely recommend you pick the series up but first read the Vampire Academy series. And now for my favorite book of 2015 so far. That has to go to A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. You guys know how much I love Sarah J Mass's writing and this was definitely no exception. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling following the main character of Feyre and she accidentally kills a fae and so she's taken by another fae to their land. And just it's kind of crazy from there. I would definitely recommend you guys pick up this book. It was amazing. The characters are so unique and the story is just so beautiful. I'm doing a book discussion over this very very soon so definitely check that out. I love this book so much and I already want to pick it up again because it was just so good. So I would definitely recommend you guys all read this. It just came out last month and it is definitely worth the read. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know what your favorite book of 2015 has been so far. My list is definitely subject to change but I think that the book in first place will probably stay the same. And now I'm going to go get back to reading.